Orlando Aviation Authority is scheduled to vote on whether or not to replace TSA security screeners with a private firm. That happens tomorrow, but today, as News 6's Clay Lepard reports, local and national TSA union members protested against the replacement of TSA. It was not quiet outside Orange County Mayor Teresa Jacobs' office. She's one of the board members that's supposed to decide whether or not to begin the process on replacing TSA agents with private security screeners. Safety! Not for sale! Safety! A handful of current and former TSA agents made their voice heard ahead of tomorrow's potential vote. People like Norma Alvarado. Maybe you don't know if you're going to continue to pay your mortgage or your car or put food on the table for your family. In a recent memorandum sent to the board, Greater Orlando Aviation Authority CEO Phil Brown laid out how he says customer satisfaction has decreased and how more travelers are dealing with anxiety when it comes to dealing with TSA at the airport. Brown goes on to say how he predicts wait times will only get worse. That's what Brown says led to the discussion of making Orlando International Airport the largest airport to potentially switch to private security. There are already more than 20 airports in the country who use private security. If the airport were to privatize security, then more than 1,100 TSA workers would be laid off or transferred to a different airport or federal facility. And for protesters outside the mayor's office, they say travelers will notice quite the difference. Now let's be real, you get what you pay for in this world, and so you're going to have higher turnover. You're not going to get the great qualified people that we had before. And coming up on News 6 at 7, how the governor's office made some last-minute changes that could impact tomorrow's vote. In Orlando, Clay Lepard, News 6.